Hey guys, this is Megan from Thousand Generation Farms. Today I am going to chore and then I'm going to show you how we feed um, the ground bales to our animals. The goats actually need one and so do the cows. So, won't you come farming with us? Okay, so um, we're actually out here about to, or we're getting the tractor ready. Um, this is a old propane tractor. It's a John Deere 3010. And um, we use this for a lot of littler things like moving bales and stuff, but it is one of our main tractors. That's, you know, something when you're talking to someone, <coughs> excuse me, who farms small or um, owns a small farming operation, they will have, to have a lot of used stuff or just smaller equipment um, because they do not need bigger equipment. Um, so I just want to show you. So here's the tractor. Um, I actually had to plug it in because it's cold out. I did not show you guys, but um, we actually had one of our first big snows last night. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, of course, the tractor doesn't want to start on its own. So we just plugged it in there to charge it up. And now we are checking the hydraulic fluid and um, Joseph's doing that. But once all that done, that once all that is done, <laughs> we will hook the bale fork up to the back of the tractor, which I will show you how we do that, and then we will go get the hay bale. All right. So if you can hear, we got the tractor running. Uh, the bale fork is down there. I'm gonna, well, Joseph and I are gonna show you how we hook that up. But I just wanted to show you. Um, it charged good, and Joseph helped me get running, so that's a plus. Okay, so here's the bale fork. Um, as you can tell, it has two like prongs, hence why it's called a fork. Um, he just pulls a little spindle up there. Secures it. And does the same on this side. fed the goats but I am gonna feed them a little bit more just so they're distracted while we put the bale in their pin um, if we did not do this they would try to escape which it's not a big deal they go on grass in the summer but right now we just want to keep them in since it's pulled out so Joseph is backing the bale into their pen um, I'm holding the gate open as you can see <laughs> Some of the goats like hay more than their feed, which is kind of funny. So, this is going to get it in the right place. We have a feeder in there. But, try this. We have a feeder in there, but we don't always put the, we don't always put the hay bale in there. So we just kind of put it where we can, and then we'll cut the twine off of it, and then they're free to eat. So. Not too hard, just a couple working parts. Um, so what he did is he had the hay 
still kind of raised up with the fork and then when he dropped it off he lowered the fork down and he just slid right out of it so i'm gonna just shut the gate up now okay so the fence is all um closed up and joseph got the other bale as you can tell we only have one more there um it's kind of nice for a wind block but um that's okay we can always go get some more i am just following him over here we're gonna give this hay bale to the moo cows. You can't really see them there. <laughs> so as you can see, we have this little bale that we've been um, just hand feeding, and putting in this feeder for the cows. But um, it's getting pretty low, so we figured we might as well just get a new big bale out here while we did the goats. As you can tell, Joseph is lowering it. And then sliding out and then this one's a little different because he's gonna tip it up and with this one you have to kind of get it positioned right so that um, you have enough room around it to get the hay out so that's kind of what he's messing with this one when I do it it's so hard to get it tipped up um, so he slid right out of there Then he comes to the edge of it, and then he'll go forward, yep, okay, there we go, he goes backwards, but he tips it up, and perfect, so now we'll cut the twine off that, Joseph will put the tractor away, and the goats and the cows are all fed already, but um, we will go cut the twine off that one and the goat thing, and, and, uh, and this one. Thanks guys for coming farming with us today and seeing what it's like to um, go get some big round bales for the animals. Um, but don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Thousand Generation Farms, and like this video if you liked it. Um, share it with your friends. Just um, let everybody know what we're doing so that we can tell other people about what small farming operations are like a lot of times we only hear about the big farming operations and so it's just so cool that we get the opportunity to tell you guys about um, what it's like to live on a small farm so we will see you next time on thousand generation farms